Buckle up, giggle gang, because today's funny story joke dives into the hilarious world of monks, those guys who make watching paint dry look like a rave. First, let's peek behind the curtain of their supposedly serene lives. Here's the thing about monks. They were the original shut-ins, but way cooler, and with way less takeout pizza boxes piled up. Imagine history class as scrolling through your ex's social media after a bad breakup. Everything seems filtered and staged. Perfect vacation photos, inspirational quotes about finding inner peace, and way too many pictures of their adorable new cat. Because of course, they got a cat. It all screams, look how happy I am without you. That's kinda how history portrays monks, serene figures in flowing robes, chanting in echoing monasteries. Basically, the ultimate relaxation app come to life, minus the soothing nature sounds. But dig a little deeper, past the carefully crafted image, and things get a bit more, well, messy. Picture them as your roommate who's obsessed with meal prepping for the entire week. Except instead of neatly labeled Tupperware containers, it's giant cauldrons of stew bubbling away, enough to feed a small village. Because let's be honest, some monasteries basically were small villages. Forget about weekend Netflix binges, their idea of entertainment was copying ancient texts by candlelight, meticulously illustrating the margins with fantastical creatures that looked like they were drawn during a particularly intense dream. Seriously, Google medieval bestiary. Here's the kicker. These seemingly uptight monks were surprisingly innovative. They were the original craft beer brewers of Europe. Monks and hops talk about a holy happy hour invented new farming techniques that are still used today, because apparently even back then people wanted to maximize their kale yield, and even became the OG copyright enforcers, fiercely guarding their collection of painstakingly copied texts. Think of them as the medieval version of a DMCA takedown notice, minus the internet. So, the next time you think history is just a bunch of boring dates and dusty scrolls, remember, it's like scrolling through your ex's seemingly perfect social media. Beneath the surface, there's a whole lot of unexpected things going on, from secret brewing operations to artistically strange doodles, all wrapped up in a package that's way more interesting and way less likely to make you feel bad about yourself. All right, all right, enough with the history lesson already. You're probably thinking, monks? Serenity? sounds about as exciting as watching paint dry while listening to elevator music on repeat. Hold on to your meditation beads, history buffs, and those who secretly yearn for a life of robe wearing and silence, no judgment, because here's the real tea. A man with a car that sounds like a bag of angry cats on a bumpy road cruises past a quaint monastery. Thinking his chariot might finally give up the ghost, he pulls into the driveway with a sigh. He walks up to the grand oak doors, expecting a chorus of Gregorian chants as his welcome. Instead, the doors creak open to reveal a group of monks with suspiciously youthful faces and a glint of mischief in their eyes. They usher him in with surprising enthusiasm, offering a hearty meal, mostly vegetables, but hey, free food, and a place to stay. They even take a look at his car, tinkering with it for a while with an assortment of tools and what appears to be a rubber chicken. Intrigued, the man asks if it'll hold. One monk shrugs and says, maybe for a while, as long as you don't hit any potholes or angry geese. Feeling slightly bewildered but grateful, the man settles in for the night. Just as he's about to drift off, the strange sound begins. The next morning, he asked the monks what the sound was, but they said, we can't tell you what, you are not a monk. The man is disappointed but thanks them and continues his journey. A few years later, he drove there again and decided to stay again because he had now made friends. The monks invite him in, give him food and a place to sleep. That night, he hears again the same strange sound he heard last time. The next morning he asked again what it was, but the monks answered, We can't tell you because you are not a monk. The man wants to die of curiosity. Even if he has to become a monk to find out, he will do it. He quit his job and did a 10-year monk course. Now he is a full-fledged monk. After initiation, the other monks said, 
Congratulations, you are now a monk. We will now show you the source of the sound. They lead the man to a wooden door where the head monk says, The sound is real behind the door. The man tries to open the door, but it is locked. May I have the key? He asked. They give him the key, and he opens the door. Behind the wooden door is another door made of stone. The man asks for the key to the stone door. The monks give him the key, and he opens it too, only to find there is another steel door. He gets another key. This goes on until he has opened a total of seven doors. When he opened the last door, he was amazed to see the source of the sound. Would you like to know what is behind the door? But I cannot tell you what it is because you are not a monk. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.